Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about my painting project, lifelong painting project, Nepali and Tibetan diaspora in the United States. I've been painting, thinking about this project for almost a year. I haven't painted many, but uh, been thinking how I'm gonna do it and I've started I painted maybe about five paintings so far and and I realized I need to write about it so I wrote something here today and I po posted on Facebook and I want to read this to all of you and so you know what I'm talking about our immigrant community in America is growing we are mostly of first generation and are evolving into one of the most vibrant populations in the States. Despite coming from a small region of the world, we are a culturally diverse group with many ethnicities, languages and faiths and are still deeply connected to what we have left behind. The mixture of our cultural traditions and our life in America is turning our participation into something worth preserving. I see all of us, Bounds, Chetris, Gurungs, Muggers, Newars, Tamangs, Tarus, and many more from various parts of Nepal and Bhutan, and Tibetans from Tibet, Nepal, and India are undergoing our life in this new world together. Also, I feel it is essential to include any non-American, uh, sorry, include any American of non-Nepali -Nepal or Tibetan origin connected with Nepali and Tibetan people as part of our diaspora community. I love history and I enjoyed looking at many old black and white photos from the 1800s and early 1900s of New York City. Many immigrants from all over Europe arrived and settled. I see some pictures of them walking on the streets dressed in old costumes from back home. It looked so beautiful and exciting, but all those unique cultural things got melted into a big melting pot and evolved. I see the same parallel among our community here in the States. We're still doing many things we did when we were in Nepal, India, and Tibet. Many of us are regularly watching movies, sitcoms, and news from that part of the world. I realize this interaction and a lively cultural exchange would not last forever and will perhaps diminish greatly by my children or grandchildren's time. Therefore, I feel it is vital in preserving our experiences and existence in America as the first generation immigrant in as many ways as possible. As a painter, the first thing that comes to my mind is to paint people. I started painting from the places, uh, from the photos I've taken of many people I know. Then it struck me why not also use photography, audio, and filming for archiving and conserving our vivid existence. I feel this endeavor will bring two things. First, we will have something to leave behind for our future generations. Secondly, I hope I can educate people about the importance of appreciating art. Most of the first generation immigrant population is busy in survival. Having basic needs in life like housing, food, means of transport and education for children and many more. There is no time and resources for anything other than necessities. Many overcome these initial hardships and achieve financial freedom. However, interest in appreciating art and culture doesn't develop just because someone has more money. I feel this art project can help in raising a level of 
awareness in art in our community. My goal is to present our life in America through paintings, photography, film, and audio. In my art, I will have the images of real people I know. I will also use photography, film, and sound to record and conserve our daily lives here. I want to create vibrant, moving, and still images by using high-quality professional cameras. It will also involve the use of lenses, lighting equipment, and audio recording devices. I have estimated that I will need about 15,000 US dollars to buy this necessary equipment. I have already spent more than uh, $3,000 of my own money and I'm trying to raise funds needed, but I'm not accepting any donations. No donations. I'm also not selling any artworks created for this project because I want many people from my community to see them. I want to exhibit these artworks in as many venues as possible all over the United States. States. I want as many people to see, not just some, you know, sophisticated people going to fancy art galleries. I want to show in community halls or wherever I can, or museums and wherever I can. The venue can be big or small, doesn't matter. Goal is to show to as many people as possible. Now I know you may be asking how I'm going to fund this project if I'm not accepting donations and not selling artworks. I have found a winning solution for all this. I will occasionally make some of my artwork, not from this project, but some of my artworks I have done or you know, do separately from the project, available for sale. Also, people can commission me to paint something like portraits or anything they have in mind within the limit of my style and ability. The result of this approach in raising funds is twofold. When someone buys my artwork, first it will help to fund this Nepal anti tibetan diaspora project. I call this our project because it involves all of us in our community. Secondly, when someone from our community buys and invests in artwork, it will help to foster interest in art among our people. Our artists can genuinely succeed only from the support of our community. If I use only donations to achieve my goal of raising needed funds, it may not do much in promoting interest in art. Besides, everyone in America is tired of the word donations. You get 100 emails a day or more a day, people asking for donations. I'm not asking for donations. I want you to be involved and there are the ways I've explained you can get involved. And we don't, I don't need a lot of money to get this going. So please help me. Thank you for listening. And also I wanna point out uh, the total needed is 15,000 US dollars. I've spent so far 3,000, so I still need 12,000. Several of my friends have committed to providing partial money needed through commissions, but I'm nowhere near my goal. So far, following other individuals and businesses who made some form of verbal commitments. Jomsa Restaurant, El Cerrito, I'm painting some paintings for them. Still uh, almost done, still working. And another, my close friend, Yagyalal Shrestha, and my best friend, Paramas Adhikari, and my friend, Pravin Singh and Bandana Dahal, uh, they already bought a very expensive lighting equipment for me, for this project. I still owe them an artwork I'm looking to add more names, so please come forward. Also, people involved in this project are 
you work to leather, that's myself. I'll be painting, filming, and doing photography. Uh, second is provincing, doing audio and video editing. And third is Roy Chetri. He'll be conducting interviews, online activity, logistics, and more. If you're interested in helping us, uh, I can be contacted. You walk to other, please phone and text 510-375-1027. Email uvakt at gmail.com. Facebook name is uvak to leather, Y-U-V-A-K-T-U-L-A-D-H-A-R. Facebook page is uvak to leather art. Instagram, uvakman artist. Final words. I will be updating the project regularly on my Facebook and Instagram. I'm also working on a website with the help of Roy Chetri and Provincing specifically for this project. Once we start filming, we will be posting it regularly in YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook, and many more sites. Also, hopefully within a year, I will be able to have enough paintings for an exhibition in the Bay Area, California. My goal is to have shows of paintings, photographs, and film culminating from this effort all over America. And also someday have a major museum or library archive all these materials so that we have something for the future generations to see what we have done, how we lived. Thank you.